Hello everyone, Feltus45 here again, and you might be wondering why there's another episode one. Well, let's just call the previous one Pilot, which is what I'm going to rename it to. I was playing my Technic Players Survival Single Player whatever on 1.4.5, and that is a dev build of Technic because I really wanted to play with like flower pots and witches and bats and stuff. And the problem was that a lot of mods weren't updated, so I didn't have Computer Craft, Equivalent Exchange, or any other mods. It was really vanilla, basic, boring stuff. There weren't any Ruby tools or anything like that, so it was terrible. And it was made for some really slow gameplay. Uh, I had to cut a lot. I had to just not record everything live because just it took so long. So I didn't really take you with me on my journey. So eight episodes in, I decided just to go down to 1.2.5. There won't be any flower pots. So I apologize for those who are really big fans of gardening. There won't be any of those or stone walls. <laughs> but I'm going to try to make this entertaining and educational. So as always, I talk to my friend who gives me my ridiculous seed names. And I'm not even sure if he checks them out, but uh, he said, uh, I love bacon is one I should do. So we'll see if this is terrible. If it's a snow biome, I'm going to rage quit and hang myself. But let's go ahead and I'm going to go full screen as my entire computer just freaks out. Ah, <laughs> it's going to be so laggy. I hear thunder. I think that's thunder. What is this place? Okay, there's a village. Uh, I hate swamps, but I do love villages, so I'm not even, is that a rubber sapling? Good, all right, you didn't totally screw me, sheep, sheep over there, looks like we've got some mountains, so I just, I, I need to steal these crops, give me them ducats, <laughs> that's what I've been saying in every single episode, um, but yeah, I'm going to take you through this. I guess you'll learn something, maybe. Uh, I will be in the later part of this when I'm wiring up like really advanced machines and stuff. I'm not going to take you through uh, every second of that just because that can take a while. But um, I will show you some of my pretty cool creations. So right now I'm just pillaging a village. And I'm not sure if there are actually inhabitants in here. If there are, I'd feel a little bad. Oh, look at them. If they actually use this food, I might feel bad. But being that they don't, I don't really care. Uh, so there are no there are no pigs, which is strange because I love bacon, and uh, there's no pigs at spawn. Kind of disappointed that there's none of the pork chops or anything. Uh, I'm really harvesting these <laughs> awkwardly. But I think I should just journey as fast as possible. So I'm going to build myself some rudimentary tools. And we can be on our way. Haha, ha, getting wood. Such a silly achievement that I see all the friggin' time. They should really make that not per game. They should make that, like, per account. Because it's like, we all get that. Um, okay, so we're going to make some wooden tools. And I can't imagine they have a crafting bench in this entire city. Oh, but they do have a blacksmith, I bet. Blacksmiths tend to have a lot of goodies. They don't have one. Great. Where do they hide all their stuff? Like, this is the poorest village ever. I'm going to burn you to the ground once I'm done with you. Let's just build our tools and get out of this shanty. So, I want to kill those sheep. Um, so, I'm going to have to make a sword. Yeah, wooden sword, I know. Why aren't I just making stone right away? Don't ask me. You know, you're right. You're right, YouTube viewer. Why am I being such a fool? Let's just harvest this cobble. Make a couple stone tools with it. And I love how empty these homes are. Yes, I'm destroying your empty house. You mad, testificate? You real mad? You look mad. Can't even tell. It's just like Black Squidward. With these beautiful hazel eyes. I have special eyes. So we're gonna make our sword, and I have no idea why I just wasted you guys' time making that. Ah! Okay, get away from me. The curse of the wooden tools. Seriously. Once you make a wooden tool, it will be with you forever. Um Ah! Didn't I yeah, that's what I thought. Friggin' witchcraft. Um, yeah, Testificate, almost out of your way. Just freaking chill, bro. I'm 
Might as well. Uh, axe. Axe. Axe is what I like. Okay. So... I'm not sure if there's any more rubber trees over there, so I'm not going to risk it. Harvest some rubber. That's a huge thing for Technic, or Technic, any Technic for anything. Uh, rubber trees are huge. You're going to be using a lot of rubber in the series, so um, I advise if you're going to find a nice place to live that you have some rubber sapling seedlings so you can actually start a rubber tree farm. Or that hopefully there's some there naturally. Rubber trees do occur more naturally in swamps, I believe, like 30% or something huge. Uh, you can also find them in regular forests. You can find them in uh, jungles, and but they're they're mostly seen in swamps according to the, the code. So there's that. And I really want to make a bed because I'm not gonna be around here for long. Um, oh my God! Come on. I th I could have swore I saw more than one sheep or more than two sheep. Oh, that I bet this cat killed it. Oh, that's one thing I got to change. Let's go into settings. If you're playing Technic, you can do this. You can't really do this on a server, but um, global mod settings. What I like to do is I think I think it's in here somewhere. Animals? No, that's spawn limits. Oh, man, I can't remember what it is. Maybe it's only in the new version. But you can say, hey, I don't want it to destroy drops. Um, show pad health, yeah, yeah. Man, well, that's probably what happened. The, sh the cat probably killed the sheep, and it destroys the drop. So, revenge! I love that a friggin' house cat's beating me up. That is the best thing. All right, well, I guess we'll just not have to die, which is going to be a serious, serious difficulty, considering, wow, these things drop a ton of meat. Um, <laughs> it's going to be pretty difficult considering werewolves, my bane. You guys don't see the unreleased episodes of uh, Tekkit or whatever that I had, but, um, yeah, werewolves were just wrecking me. And werewolves are obviously part of uh, Mo Creatures, so you don't have to worry about them in multiplayer tech it but they are terrible they're fierce they have so much health um they can fit through a one by one space so if if you have a window like that they can crouch down and run through that and they stand like three blocks tall so once they get through they just maul you like a bear and it makes me so mad i hate them so much I think I see a desert or a beach over here, and I I like both. I like cacti, and I like fun in the sun, so I'm going to go over here anyway. Looks like a beach, and I usually do like to settle on a beach near a jungle because there are there's so much wood. I mean, just look at this. Boom! All that wood makes it so easy, and early in the game, little resources like this are so important. Uh, I mean, especially if you have a coal furnace, which I'll start out with. I know the last um, series, I'm not sure if I updated this or uploaded this far, but uh, I made a geothermal furnace, which is almost endgame. Hey, pumpkins, what up? Oh, oh I thought I saw a dungeon or something. But, uh, yeah, see, look, look how passive bears are. They just look at you. Look, look how close I am. He's just like, yeah, what's up? I'm a bear, it's no big deal. I'm just going to look at you. Werewolves, you could be, like, three miles away, or just kilometers away, <laughs> if you're anything but Imperial units, uh, and, and they would maul you. Like, they would run across this water like Jesus and just destroy you. It's terrible. I hate them so much. Uh, so whenever I play single player, um, or I guess multiplayer, I don't really play that much. Oh my Jesus. Look at all this wood. Look at all that wood. I love it. This is why I play this. Um, oh, that's right. On, on the other episode, or the uh, newer version, when you chop the tree, the leaf blocks also disappear, which is pretty cool because you don't need to wait for it to drop stuff. And uh, I, I didn't get any rubber saplings because of that. Great. Well, I guess I'm going back there later. Um, you know, why not? why not tonight? I guess I'll clear out this area. And, uh, 
I'll get I'll get rubber in another episode. Or not even an episode. I'll get that by myself. You guys know where it is, just in that swamp, but walking there is not gonna be very exciting. Um we may have some over there. And I'm doing this by pressing control. Pretty cool little feature. So I am going to make a little beach house, and this is gonna be I think where my main base is. I'll just make a nice little uh maybe over there. That looks nice. Uh, but I'll make a little hovel in here for now. I like to keep things simple. And uh, I don't have any cobble, do I? I'd really like some cobble. Really, really would like some cobble. Uh, hmm. Where's, how's the best way to get cobble without... I have an idea. I just don't want to... Ah, whatever. This is going to make my entryway first, and then... Let's make this a lot faster. Look at all that wood I already have. I'm so good at being a cheater. Uh, no, oh, that's one thing. Uh, we need to make sure that we're on recipe mode the entire time because I play legit, and uh, I recommend you do too because there's really no fun in cheating. Um, it's it's kind of just like, uh, I don't know, you, you earn everything. So if you're just getting stuff for free, you don't value it. Uh, I mean, I value my little tools right now, but if I gave myself a diamond pick, it'd be great, but I wouldn't value it quite as much because I could just cheat another one. So this entire Let's Play is going to be legit because I like doing things legitimately. It's kind of my thing. Um, yes, I'm filling that back in. And uh, what are we going to do? Uh, yeah, we better make a house. Looks like nightfall is coming. So, we best be getting inside. I don't have any torches. I should have stole some from the village. Oh my god, the lamp posts. Every village has cotton uh, or wool. I should have stolen it from there. Huh! Yeah. You like that? Alright, let's get a little house. And uh, I guess when I cut this episode, I'm not sure how long we're going. It looks like we're only at 10 minutes, so, you know, I I probably will. For a first episode, I'm going to cut it. Uh, just so I can get that wool, get the rubber. I don't want to make you guys wait through the night. That's really boring. Um, so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to avoid that. And... Jungle Door! Yeah. Uh, let's get inside. We can make ourselves a nice furnace. And then we can make ourselves some nice coal. Pro tip for anyone that's playing uh, Tech It or Technic. Damn it. Isn't this what I dug the last time? I hope this doesn't make a hole. I hope this isn't 5,000 billion things. Huh? Uh, we do have cobble. Or this... Uh, pro tip for anyone that's playing Tekkit or Technic, um, do try and save your coal. Only use charcoal for, like, torches, because coal is four times more valuable when you're doing, like, equivalent exchange and stuff. So it's, it's much more effective to just make your own charcoal out of trees and save your coal for things like solar panels and uh, exchanging if you really want to do that. So, But it all burns at the same rate, just thought I'd tell you that. So, let's make our furnace. And I might as well make two while I'm here. I have a lot of cobble already. And I'm going to make a door because I have a bad feeling that I'm about to get destroyed by something. It's probably going to be a werewolf because I hate them. Uh, big thing I do when the game first starts or when I first start a game, I do uh, Project Rape the Forest. <laughs> and what that is, is I... It, well, it's just the way it sounds. I destroy the surrounding forest, and I place torches everywhere so mobs don't spawn. And I get a lot of wood, and I get a lot of apples because of that. And um, I, I think that's a very good thing. So let's go ahead and make some coal. And to make coal, you just need to burn solid wood. You can burn it with anything that's flammable. So, so sticks, wooden tools, fence posts, anything that'll burn, you can create uh, wood. So I'm just using other wood because it it tends to burn at the same rate, and there's lots of it. So um, let's make this a little bigger. This will eventually be the boiler room for a much grander uh, 
studio or factory. But uh, it'll probably be up on a hill because I like a beautiful factory. Well, this will be a basement. A little boiler room. Let's eat some of that steak. And hopefully this <laughs> destroys everyone's ears. Oh, it's not that loud. Usually when you eat in Minecraft, it's just like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's terrible. So I'm making coal. Making charcoal. Sorry. And... Torches. Herp derp. Let's see how fast we die. Ta-da! A creeper. Okay. And another bad thing about the latest version of Technic, it seemed like mobs, regular mobs, didn't spawn. Oh my god. Bane of my existence. There we are. A werewolf. Just watch how close... I'm gonna run away. No. Yes. No. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm not gonna mess with him. They turn into humans during the day, and I have no sympathy. Even though they scream and they're like, No! Stop hurting me! Please! God, no! That's too bad. You're a werewolf. I hate you. And now there's a scorpion. <laughs> Not cool. So, this is a weak start um, to my little base, but soon we will have a blustering factory. I'm not even sure if that's a word um, on top of this hill. So I better get a torch in here because um, I can't even decide where to put one. Because these are going to go out soon. Oh, look at all that meat. And to organize your inventory, just press R. It organizes everything. Very handy. And another tip, um, by default, opening up your menu for your map is M. I want to turn on death point right away because that's going to show me where I die. And you can't turn death point on after you die. It doesn't log it. So if you die somewhere in a cave and you're like, oh, I'll just turn on death point. It doesn't really work that way. It's not going to show you where you died, and you're going to lose all your stuff unless you know exactly where it is. So it's a really good idea to get that on there. Uh, just turn that on right away. So um, what can we do because I can't sleep? This video is going about 15 minutes. Uh, I guess I, I appreciate any feedback you guys have. Uh, if you really want me to do a certain thing, like I was planning on making coal generators for the time being and then turning those into uh, what you call geothermal generators but if you're like hey no make a solar array or make a equivalent exchange cobblestone generator power whatever uh, let me know in the comments because I will listen to you and I'll do that and I have there's plenty of room for that I'll probably be uploading uh, episode every two days I think that's fair it keeps you guys entertained and um, these videos are pretty easy to do to be honest so uh, if I include you, your comments in them and um, really give you some good feedback, or well, I, I'll include the audience in the videos in the sense that I'll do what you want me to, <laughs> pretty much, and take your advice and uh, even give you some shout outs. If you have a YouTube channel you want me to send people your way, and uh, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. I, I like that. Or if you're a small YouTuber and you want to help grow your community, I think that's a very admirable and admirable thing. Just because, let's face it, Yogg's cast and stuff, they they don't really have time to give tiny channels like you and I shout-outs. <laughs> so, uh, I guess thanks for watching, guys. In the next episode, I will have gathered some rubber, that one piece of cotton, so I can make a bed so we don't have to wait inside during nighttime. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started on some mining, and then we can get ourselves a uh, generator of some sort. So, Feltus45 here. Thanks for watching, guys.